Hello friends, this is Carlos from Spur Academy of Music. Today we're going to be talking about the fundamentals of strumming the guitar. Learning the skills the right way is going to help you become a more well-rounded musician. This video is for beginners, but if you're more experienced, we would love it if you stuck around and gave us your feedback in the comment section. All right, let's get into it. So if you're going to be playing rhythm guitar, the first thing that you want to think about is that you gotta be able to play with a consistent tempo, which means you gotta have a steady beat, like a clock, right? We're humans, we're not machines, but we still gotta be able to keep a consistent tempo. We can't expect if we're playing with other people for them to be constantly adjusting to match our tempo, right? We all kinda have a, a goal and idea of what the tempo needs to be, and we all gotta stick to it. That's kinda how it works, working together as a, as a group or a band. So when you're playing by yourself, it's hard to do because you don't have other musicians, obviously, to you know all follow each other. So what you do when you're by yourself, you use a metronome, and a metronome is just this little device that gives you a constant click, uh, and you just play along with it. Finding a metronome is super easy. All you gotta do is you have to Google the word metronome. Google will literally get you a metronome. <laughs> or you can download an app. There's tons of them that are just free. And all, all we're gonna use it for right now is you're either gonna have a little dial or you're gonna be able to make a number smaller or larger. And the smaller the number, the slower the music, the bigger the number, the faster the music. That's all there is to it. That's all you gotta be worried about for now. All right, so let's do a little exercise with a metronome so that we get used to working with one. All right, so I got a little metronome here and I'm going to set it to 72 BPM. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna clap along with it and feel the pulse. That's it. Okay, so let's talk real quick about what actually means to strum the guitar. So all that you mean when you say strumming the guitar is you're gonna drag your pig or fingers across the strings kind of quickly. That's all it is, so strum. You're playing all the notes. You're not just picking individual notes, right? You're playing all the strings at once. That's all it is. And you can either strum down or you can strum up down is to start from the thickest string, go to the thinnest string, and then vice versa, thinnest string to the thickest string. That's all there is to it. And now we're gonna talk about quarter notes. So for the purpose of this video, every time there's a click on the metronome, we're calling that a quarter note. Those are quarter notes. Quarter, 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 quarter. All right, so we're gonna, every time we hear a quarter note, we're gonna do a down strum. And we're not doing any chords, we're making things super simple today, we're just strumming, all right? Here we go. And it's okay if you're not perfect, perfectly in, on time, but you want to be getting better and better and better at playing consistently in tempo. Now, the other thing that we're gonna need to know for this guide is uh, eight notes. So we did quarter notes, right? Just down strum on every beat. Now, in between every beat, we're gonna do an up strum. So we're gonna do down strum, up strum. So here's what that would look like. So for this section, I actually want you to play along. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the metronome, it's gonna be clicking, and every time that I strum down, all we're doing is playing quarter notes. I'm gonna be strumming down, you're gonna strum down along with me, and we're gonna be counting out loud the numbers, one through four. We're gonna be counting in sets of four, and we'll see why in a second. I want you to always accentuate the one, right? The one is what's called the downbeat, is this stressed number that tells you you are at the beginning of the cycle. You know, every time we, st we strum a number, one, two, three, or four, we're gonna be strumming down. So keep that in mind. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. All right. 
right, so now let's play some eight notes, okay? So we're going to let the metronome play again, same tempo, we're not changing anything, but in between every note, we're gonna add uh, an and, right? So we're gonna say, instead of just saying one, two, three, four, what's there? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So in between, and that every one of those ants is gonna be an upstrum. So one and two and three and four and four. It'll be easier for you to see it if I'm actually not playing the strings and I'm I'm just muting them. So one. So if you're feeling pretty comfortable that you can do this, so let's go ahead and actually try to learn some of the strumming patterns. I did put a guide together. You can download using a link in the description. Uh, and basically the guide just sums up what's in this video. And uh, there's eight patterns in total for you to practice with, or you can use them to make your own songs or whatever you want to use them for. But first, before we look at the pattern, I do want you to take a second. And if you're enjoying this video and you're finding it helpful, do give the video a like. It would help us tremendously as we're just getting started with the channel and are hoping to bring lots of valuable content to you. All right, so let's take a look at the first pattern then. This symbol right here is what's called a time signature. The top number and the time signature tells you that we're supposed to count in sets of four, right? Which is what we've been doing, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The one on the bottom tells you that you're counting, what you're counting actually is quarter notes. That's what that four is, right? Yeah, four quarters, that's what it's telling you to do. If it would have been eight, it would be something like four eights, right? which means that you're counting eight notes. All right, so do notice too, uh, this little symbols, the double bars with these dots right here, these are repeat signs. So all you gotta do is when you get to the end of the pattern, you go back to the first measure to the beginning of it and you play it again. That's all it means. So this pattern right here, pattern number one, it's what we've been doing already, right? So the rule for, for this video is gonna be every time there's an, a number, you're strumming down, Every time, every time there's an and, you're strumming. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the metronome and we're gonna do pattern one. All right, so now let's play pattern number two. Uh, do notice here beats one, two, and three are just quarter notes, just what we've been doing so far. Um, the only one that's different is beat number four. It's two eight notes, right? So you're gonna be doing one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, three, four, and one. That's all there is to it. So let's play with it. Lastly, we're gonna play pattern number three. In this one, beats two and four are eight note, two eight note figures. So that means we're gonna be doing one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one.
All right, so remember I put that strumming guide together for you. If you want to try out more patterns, you can find them there. Uh, it is available in the description again. So there's also a small section in that same guide that gives you an outline on how to come up with your own strumming patterns and just kind of give you some ideas. You know, if those eight patterns are not enough, you can come up with your own and just kind of get really good at it. Do make sure that you subscribe and then hit that notification bell as I'm going to be making, we're going to be making a lot more videos and just bring this kind of content. Some of them are going to be beginner like this. Some of them are going to be intermediate. Some of them are going to be advanced and uh, you know, we're going to be putting them all over the place and maybe you can connect them and, and develop a, a path, a learning path for you that works. Uh, do leave us a comment and reach out to us if you have any questions or comments and we'd just love to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much. Take care.